everybody. This is Chad from Stick's Blog. Uh, I'm Stick. Today I want to talk to you about this jacket I'm wearing. The jacket I'm wearing is the Go Light Tumalo. I'm not sure if I said that right. T-U-M-A-L-O. But it's the Go Light Tumalo Pertex 2.5 layer storm jacket. Uh, the front of it is 100% nylon face and then on the inside is when they use the Pertex Shield DS uh, polyurethane membrane. Um, so uh, Basically, I just got this a couple of weeks ago. I got it with intentions of replacing a, a, a another jacket I have. It's the Sierra Design Cyclone Eco Jacket. One of the biggest reasons I'm wanting to replace the jacket is because I was looking for something lighter. But I was looking for something that was lighter and had two things that I was really, really adamant about having. The first thing was having, I wanted hand pockets. The second thing I wanted was I wanted to have uh, pit zips. Now, there's a couple of options out there that are lightweight jackets uh, that you can get with these things. There are a couple of options out there that you can get that only have some of these things. Uh, what I ended up with was going with this. Another reason I went ended up going with this is because uh, right now at the GoLight site, you can put in the code DSW10 and you can get 40% off your purchase. So I did that. Uh, this jacket went from $150 to $90 shipped. Uh, so I was really happy with it. But like I said, I was also looking for something lighter weight. My other jacket weighed around 17 ounces. Uh, this one, when I put it on my scales, weighs 10.8 ounces. Now, uh, one thing I'll say is on the Go Light website, they just have one. Uh, they have one. Uh, they have one weight listed, and that's 10 ounces. I didn't. It doesn't specify if that's for a small or an extra extra large. Uh, so the first thing I did when I got this home was I put it on my scale, and like I say, that's where I came up with 10.8 ounces. Now, just so you know, this is the extra large. Now also, just so you'll know, if you don't like the color that I'm wearing, Go Light does offer these things in a variety of colors, about five or six different colors as well. Uh, now just a few things about the jacket that I want to point out. First off, it does have fully taped seams, which is important for any jacket to be completely waterproof. Um, next, as far as the hood, the hood is not detachable. The hood is a fixed hood. Um, also, while I'm up at the hood, I want to show you it does have these uh, cords to pull to cinch the hood down. But I'm not real fond of them, and I'll show you why. If you can see, um, this area right here to actually lock the hood down. This is just a little piece of foam that kind of grips when you pull on this. In my opinion, this will never last. This is going to rip off after about two or three good uses. So I'm going to look at trying to uh, disassemble this little uh, this pull tab and taking this out and putting some little toggles on my own. Um, Anyway, uh, so I'm not real happy with that, but it's a price I'm going to willing to pay. I understand that GoLight was trying to uh, cut some weight by using this, but I really wish that they would have went ahead and just used small toggles. I think it would be uh, more efficient. Um, next thing I want to talk about, going down to the bottom, it does have a shock cord that you can pull with these little toggles on each side, and it'll cinch the skirt of the uh, jacket around you so it, the cold air doesn't come up. Um, it does have a storm flap which runs the entire length of the uh, zipper. The zipper is not waterproof, which is why it has a storm flap. And then the storm flap has a piece of Velcro at the bottom as well at the top. Um, next thing, like I mentioned earlier, it does have these, uh, the jackets, I mean the, the pockets. Um, the pockets have a uh, waterproof zipper that's used, so if you're not using the pockets and it is raining, you can zip the zipper. You won't have to worry about uh, water getting in there. But another little feature I want to just, if you can see here, these pockets are mesh, so it's actually part of the uh, ventilating system. Uh, if you're overheating, you can just make sure you have these unzipped along with your pit zips, and it'll help you uh, help ventilate. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, another thing, the front zipper, it does have a two-way zip. So I can unzip this from the bottom, and it'll help me ventilate a little bit more if I need to, or, of course, I can unzip it from the top. Like I showed you just a second ago, it does have pit zips. I didn't measure it, but I, I'd say these are probably 8 to 10 inches long, somewhere around there. Um, they do work smooth and good. Uh, they've got little bitty pull, or not pull, but just got a little bitty uh, zipper pull tab on it. Doesn't have any pull tabs. Uh, Mike could add something to it if I have a hard time getting to it with gloves on. Um, I haven't experienced that yet. Um, and then uh, another thing that GoLine has tried to do to keep the weight down on this jacket is by using elasticized cuffs. Now I'm going to say one thing, I do, I don't mind the elasticized cuffs, but I wish that they were more specifically to fit me. I do understand that that's kind of something kind of hard to do, um, but I'll just kind of show you, if you can see that, 
there is a space between there so if i'm hiking and using my trekking pole that's going to potentially make it easy for water to get down in there now if i'm using a glove or a mitt with a gauntlet of course that might keep it from it but that's just something now mainly because of this and uh or i'll skip that for just now right now you can see how well it fits me right now i'm using all of my wintering layering systems underneath it so i'll just go ahead and show you so i can unzip it because it's getting hot the first thing i have underneath it is this uh is my montbell ul down inner let's see one under that i have my patagonia r1 and then of course under that i have a t-shirt so i can uh i can layer stuff over this very easily uh the extra large works great for me just so you know i'm five foot ten 200 pounds um and this works great for me also, what I uh, couldn't show you a while ago, there's also inside pockets using that same piece of mesh for your hand pockets outside. There's inside pockets so you can stow stuff in there. And as you can see, if you can see it, the seams are taped. So that's, that's important. So anyway, this is the Go Light Tumalo Pertex 2.5 layer jacket. I'm really happy to have it. Uh, other than the cuffs uh, being a little bit loose and these uh, cinch, uh, these foam cinch pads up here, uh, I'm very happy with the jacket. I'm going to see if I can do something to change this, and I even thought about trying to uh, do it myself, sewing this a little bit tighter, but I'm not sure if I'm ready to tackle that yet. But anyway, this is the Go Light Tumalo Pertex 2.5 layer storm jacket. I'm very happy with it. Uh, if you think you're interested in a lightweight jacket, I'd seriously suggest you at least give it a look, and especially right now with that sale going on at Go Light, like I said, DSW10 will get you 40% off. All right, until next time, thank you.